All right. Now, continuing from what we started this past week. We started with one-step equations. From there, we went to two-step equations. Today, we are on multi-step equations. So our objective for today, I can solve and graph multi-step one variable equations. Read together. One, two, three. I can solve and graph multi-step one variable equations. We're still on the same concept. That's why we don't need a fair model. We know what one variable equations are. Give you guys examples, non examples, critical attributes. They need to have an equal sign, one variable only, and no exponents greater than one on the variable. Steps, we said they were what? Simplify, isolate, plot, check. Simplify, isolate, plot, check. So now, look at step one, though. Step one, it says simplify. What do we do that? Each side. Where do we start? We start with grouping symbols and combining like terms. Get used to this step one because we're going to be uh, looking at a lot of that today and tomorrow. Okay? So therefore, think about that. Step one is simplify. We, we start wherever there's grouping symbols or combining like terms. Okay? All right, so with that said, here we go. Copy this one down. Example one, it says solve the equation. Check your answer. 2x plus 1 over 3 equals 7. Just copy it, and I'll show you uh, one step, and then we'll go from there. Go. Okay, pens down, eyes up here. Here it goes. Now, let me zoom in a little bit. Yesterday, oh, that was too much. Okay, there it is. Yesterday we did or solved equations that looked like this. Is that correct? 2x plus 1 equals 7. What do you do to solve this one? Subtract 1, subtract 1, right? However, we have something in the way. That. We need to get rid of that first before we continue. So what is the 3 doing? So what is the inverse? Multiply times 3, multiply times 3. We, that's a giant 1 right there. We end up with 2x plus 1 equals 21. Do you know what to do from there? Finish it off, please. Boom. Finish. Go. Okay, so from here we subtract 1, subtract 1. We're left with 2x equals 20. And my last step, we see that there's multiplication. So we divide by 2, divide by 2. x equals 10. So now let's look at all the uh, properties that we used. Everybody look up, please. What is my first property here? Multiplication, Multiplication property of equality. How about here? Uh, Subtraction out. property of equality. How about here? Division. Division property of equality. So be careful because then they're going to start bringing in also the commutative, associative, and distributive properties. So make sure you keep track of all your properties, please. Because what if I was to ask you to get window notes no. done? And I said, I said, what if? I said, what if? Yes. Okay, here we go. Therefore, copy this next one. Do this next one by yourself. Example 2. Example 2 says, solve the equation. 7 equals 3x minus 4 over 2. And right now, we're going we're gonna to skip the check just for the meantime. We already have been practicing enough of that. Do that by yourself. Go. Okay, talk it over with your neighbor, see what they got. So here we go. So I heard six all over the place. Hands if you got six. That is incorrect. Who got six equals X? It's different. If you say six, it's an expression. What is this? an equation. We're totally in two different zones. Here we go. So here we multiply times 2, multiply times 2, that's 14 equals 3x minus 4 because here's a giant 1, yes? You guys ready? Okay, here we go. Yes? Um, no. And I'll tell you why. Plus 4 plus 4 18 equals 3x, and at the end, divide by 3, divide by 3, and that's how we get 6 equals x. Now, is this the same as x equals 6? It is. The reason I want you to start practicing this is because some of you got used to last year to switching this to the variable only on one side. No, I want your brain to tr be trained on both sides. So I want you to start practicing this, okay? 
I don't know if you guys noticed I've been switching stuff around so that you guys can get used to both ways. Yeah. Okay, let's do another one. See if we can go a little bit faster. Here we go. Example 3. 5m plus 13 over 2 equals 1. Go. Okay. Let's see. Tell me out right here, uh, Noemi, what do I do? Okay, here's a giant one. We're left with 5m, 5M plus 13 equals 2. Pass it to someone. Um, okay. Alyssa, next step. Okay, and what do we have? 5m equals to what? Negative 11. Pass it to someone. Okay. What do I do from there? Okay, so this is 1m equals. Hands if you got 2 and 1 fifth. Crickets. Okay. Look, look at, look it over. Look at, look it over. Negative two and one three. Guys, remember at the beginning of the year I said one of the steps was first make sure you get the answer whether it's a positive or a negative. Do that first, because then you get you guys get so worried about computation that you forget about the sign. Okay, yeah. that is correct or negative two point two. All right, let's move on. Everybody with me so far? Yay! Okay, example four. Copy this one. We got 8x minus 21 minus 5x equals negative 15. Copy that, please. Okay, here we go. Watch. Writing utensils down, let me show you something really quick. Now, this might look a little bit intimidating, but check this out. If we break it down by stuff that we've already done in the past, everybody look up. We got this side and this. Can we simplify the right side? The right side. No. The left, side, the left side I can. So how do I isolate that so that my brain only sees that? I cover this. Does this look familiar? Yeah. Yes. What can we do there? Combine like terms. So therefore, I got 8x. And here, be careful with these. I said include the negative. 8x and a negative 5x, that gives us what? 3x. Bring down the minus 21. And what do we have on this side? We got equals to negative 15. Copy that and finish it, please. Bam. So, let's see what we got. I'm going to scoot this up a little bit. So, therefore, from here, uh, here's a variable. We start with inverses. We got multiplication and subtraction. I start right here. So, the inverse is plus 21 plus 21. This becomes 3x equals 6. At the end, divide by 3, divide by 3, x equals 2. Hands if you got that. Okay, do this one by yourself. Example 5. We got 4 equals 2x plus 5 minus 6x. 4 equals 2x plus 5 minus 6x. Go. <laughs> All right, what do I do from there? <laughs> what is that called? <laughs> Very good. So what do we get from those two? 2x and negative 6x becomes negative 4x. Bring down the plus 5 equal to 4. Pass it to someone. Oliver. <laughs> Next step. Next step. Go. Then you, uh, okay, so what do we have here? Have Equals. Pass it to someone. 
Marissa, go. Okay. Oh, divide by negative 4 on both sides, okay? Here's a giant 1, we're left with x equals. No, no, no. Uh, 4 divided by 1. No, it's 1 divided by 4. 1 divided by 4 is um, No, 1. <laughs> no, it's 4. <laughs> it's 1 or 2. It, it is. Okay, the correct answer is one fourth or point twenty five. Hands if you got that. Okay, let's move on. Here we go. Copy this one. Example six. It says five parentheses p minus two close parentheses equals negative fifteen. Be nice. So Step one says simplify, and where do we start with grouping symbols? Do we have grouping symbols? Yes. 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 So I draw my line down here. I can't simplify the right. I can simplify the left by doing what? Distributive property. Distributive property. So I distribute. This is 5p minus 10 equals negative 15. Finish off, please. Okay, from there, uh, here we start on this side. We add 10 to each side. We got 5p equals negative 5. Divide by 5. This is a giant 1. p equals negative 1. Hands up, you got that. That is correct. Let's move on. Example 7. Copy this down, please. It says, solve the equation. 10y focus please, 10y minus parentheses 4y plus 8 close parentheses equals negative 20. Okay, I'm going to zoom in so that you guys can see what I see. Here it goes. Okay, first of all, I see that, um, let's see, everybody look up please. Can I simplify the right side? No. no. I can simplify the left side can I combine anything first? No. But we have a grouping symbol. Now check this out. Some of you already saw it, but if you didn't, here it goes. I'm going to show you. Let me cover this up. Let me cover this up. What does this tell us about in here? Change everything inside, right? So therefore, this is what? Negative 4y and? minus 8 and then we bring everything else down that and that so therefore we're left with equals negative 20 bring down the 10 y do you know what to do from there okay yes. finish it off please go okay help me from there uh, Isaac go Close. Combine like terms. What is 10 minus 4y? 6y. 6y. Bring down the negative 8 equals to the negative 20. From there, Julia, what do I do? Add 8 to both sides. Thank you, Julian. This is 6y equals negative 12. What's my last step? Julia. Y equals negative 2. Hands if you got Y equals negative 2. That is correct. So make sure, guys, when you uh, see this, because in the homework you have a couple of these that have negatives in front of the parentheses. Identify that, that you need to change all the signs and drop the parents. Are we there so far? Okay. Next, copy this next one down, please. Example 8. Example 8. Wow. It says, Jordan scored seven more points than Kobe. Q scored two times as many points as Kobe. In total, the three scored 75 points. How many points did each of them score? So copy that, please. You don't have to copy everything, just the black text. Go. Negative 
<laughs> Jordan scored seven more points than Kobe. Q scored two times as many points as Kobe. In total, three, the three scored 75 points. How many points did each of them score? So how many people are they talking about? Three. Remember the, the guess and check table? So we draw three lines down. One, two, three, and one across. We label the first column. The first person is Jordan, so I'm just going to write J. Which is the next person that they mentioned? Kobe. Kobe. I write K. And then Q. And right here, total. What was the total points? 75. Okay? I'm going to read it again so that we can get uh, acquainted with uh, who they talked about. Jordan scored seven more points than Kobe, so they mentioned Jordan. Q scored two times as many points as Kobe. They mentioned Q. Who's the only person they don't mention that they scored? Kobe. So therefore, if we don't know, what can we label Kobe? X. I'm going to label it X. Okay? So there it is. Now let me go back, and now we're going to start labeling. Jordan scored seven more points than Kobe. So if Kobe is X, what can we write for Jordan? X plus seven. Seven more. Not seven times more. Q scored two times as many points as Kobe. Two X. And, and all together, they scored 75. So what does all together mean? I'll combine, which means we're going to do what? Add. So watch. X plus 7 plus X plus 2X equals 75. Do you know what to do from there? Yes. Solve and find out how much each of them scored. Go. Be nice. Okay, I'm going to help you with the first step. I can't do anything to the right, but to the left I can simplify. How can I simplify? By combining like terms. This becomes 4x plus 7 equals 75. Hands if you got that step. Okay, good. Good. From there, we... That's fine. Subtract 7, subtract 7. We got 4x equals... 68, divide by 4, divide by 4, x equals 17. Hold on. We haven't answered the question, though. How many points did each of them score? Who's x? Kobe. Kobe scored 17. How about Jordan? 24, because it's 17 plus 7. How about Q? Bam. So, homework for tonight. You copied the 10 problems uh, that were on the screen earlier in the uh, lesson. Have a good one, guys. Enjoy your homework. See you guys. Tomatoes. Oh. Yeah, no window notes. Have a good one, guys. Enjoy your homework. Please like.